What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So if you guys have been watching my channel, recently I uploaded a video where I installed a mod on my G80 M3. It was an exhaust mod and I absolutely loved it, but it struck me that it's been a while since I've modded the M3. A lot of you guys who are subscribed and watching the channel now probably didn't even watch all the mods that I did to the M3 before. Probably have no idea what's on this car. So I figured I'd come on here and make this quick video showing you guys an updated mod list on the M3. This is not the final mod list, but it's just what the car has right now. Just to catch you up really quickly if you are new to this channel. So let's just start off with the basics. This is a 2023 BMW M3 Competition X-Drive. It is black sapphire metallic. And then on the interior, we have ivory with one of my favorite things, the carbon bucket seats. So I started modding this car pretty shortly after I got it. Now, I haven't done too much performance stuff. I am working on that currently, hence the last mod being an exhaust setup. But I did a lot of aesthetic stuff. And again, guys, I have a lot more to go off of. So just right off the bat, I have a whole bunch of carbon stuff. And now speaking of carbon, guys, I want to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, and that is simply Carbon Fiber. Now, if you guys don't know them, they make a whole bunch of accessories made out of, you guessed it, carbon fiber, just like a whole bunch of stuff currently on the G80 M3. Now, today I have their carbon fiber phone case, which looks absolutely stunning. Just look at it next to these carbon mirror caps from Keys Motorsports. This thing looks beautiful, especially in the sun. Let's also compare it to the carbon roof. I mean, come on, guys. That looks sick. So if you guys want a carbon fiber accessory for yourself other than just your car, go check out the links down in the description below. They make a whole bunch of cool stuff like this phone case. I mean, come on, guys. Look how cool that looks. Carbon on the car, carbon on the phone. Yeah. You can't go wrong with that. So go check out the links down in the description below. There's also a promo code for you guys to use to get a discount. So go take advantage. But with that said, let's continue with the mods on the G80 M3. So I already talked about the mirror caps, which again are from Keys Motorsports. Now, all these carbon bits, guys, are from Keys Motorsports. So huge shout out and thank you to them. If you guys want any of this stuff, links will be down in the description below. But yeah, I have the mirror caps right over here. I also have the smoked out sequential turn signals, which look really cool. They give the car a more sleek and blacked out look. On the side, we have the carbon overlay on this little grill, fake grill thing. We have the carbon side skirts, which also have that little fin right there, which is a really cool design element. Some people aren't fans of these fins. They feel like it makes the car look a little cheesy. I actually disagree. I think it gives the car that added aggression that it needed because otherwise it's just a sedan. This makes it look a little more aggressive, gives it a little more character. And also those fins continue on the splitter right over here in the back. So you get that look coming from the side over to the wheel and onto the rear bumper, which I think looks really cool. Of course, this is also in carbon. And then coming around the back, we have the diffuser to match. And not only the diffuser, a lot of people change the diffuser on these cars, but they don't change this piece right over here. The diffuser surround, which is what people refer to it as, they'll just leave it in gloss black, which on a black car doesn't look bad. But if you have a white car or something, it just looks weird because it doesn't all match. However, I went ahead and changed that thanks to Keys Motorsports, the carbon fiber as well. So now all of this is a beautiful carbon. It all looks cohesive. It all looks like it's almost like it's one piece. And then another cool thing about this diffuser has one extra fin. So it just gives it a little more aggression because normally it's just the two. This one has three. So next thing on the list, we have this little subtle duckbill kind of style spoiler. It's nice because it actually sits right on the edge of the trunk. So it gives the car a more elongated look. I really like that. So it will just sit on top of the trunk, but this one sits on the corner so one of my favorite spoilers if you guys are looking at one it also looks really good at the carbon roof because it comes down and then it continues with the spoiler so it all kind of flows and feels like it's all thought out and not just thrown together obviously on this side we have the same thing on the other side but coming over to the front we have a good amount so on the front we have this super aggressive front lip which i think this car desperately needed because normally it just has a sort of rounded front end kind of looks a little soft in my opinion but this makes it look super aggressive we have a carbon canard right over here this actually comes in a set of four so two for each side i actually put the one I think it's a little more tasteful. Something else we did was the carbon air ducts right over here. Yes, you can get that from BMW factory with the car. I didn't. I didn't get the carbon package on this car. So putting this on was a huge thing for me. It looks so much better than the honeycomb ones, which I have no idea why BMW even offered. So now the next thing and the biggest thing on the front end is the CSL style carbon grill. Again, from Keys Motorsports, you guys can see their name right over there. This thing looks absolutely sick. A lot of people aren't fans of the grill on this car. This, in my opinion, helps it. The one downside to this is it is completely open. So kind of a hazard. 
I've been okay so far, but that is definitely something in the future we're gonna have to address, so stay tuned for a future video. But for now, it at least looks better. And the next thing on the M3 are the yellow DRLs, which look absolutely menacing, especially against the black sapphire metallic paint. So I really haven't done that much to this car. However, what I have done completely transformed it. I think it looks way better, it looks way more aggressive. It's 1000% worth it. When I first got this car, as much as I loved it, it just looked a little too soft. I don't know what it is. I feel like the F80s look more aggressive right out the box, but the G80s, they're a lot more bubbly and round, but all this stuff gives it a lot more angles, a lot more aggression. Like this car performs like an absolute beast, and now it looks to part two. But the mods don't end there, at least not for now. We have a few more in the engine bay, and we have that exhaust mod, which if you guys haven't seen the last video, I'll just quickly tell you about that as well. So underneath the hood, we have one more aesthetic mod and we have another mod, one of my favorite mods. And one of the mods I think everybody should do to their cars, especially when you're starting off. So we'll start off with the aesthetic mod and that is these Keys carbon strap braces for the G80 M3. If you guys don't remember, the G80s come with a very basic, I think aluminum black strut bar. It is a big step down aesthetically from the previous generation, the F80s, which had a massive, beautiful carbon strut brace. This was actually engineered and manufactured by Keys Motorsports. So that's super cool. And as you guys can tell, especially in the sun, this thing's absolutely stunning. It looks way better and it's supposed to function a lot better too because you can actually adjust these. You can tighten them, you can loosen them. So you have some adjustments to them as well. They're actually not just aesthetic. But now the next mod is the MST intakes. You guys can see we have two of course because this is a twin turbo. Now some people might argue this mod is not a performance mod because the original ones probably operate better. I don't have any numbers, I can't prove you guys right or wrong on that, but what I can tell you is these intakes sound amazing. I haven't noticed any power decreases, but I can tell you the car is just a lot more fun to drive because it sounds a lot more dramatic, and that guys is half the fun. You know, it's not always just about speed, sometimes it's just about like the sound and the experience of driving, and these intakes really help out with that. And now speaking of sound, that exhaust mod. So. It's gonna be hard for you guys to see, but I'll quickly explain it. So I technically actually have two exhaust mods on this car. One is a Dalier valve controller. So I'm basically able to open up the valves on this car all the way because normally you're not able to do that. And I can also open them up all the time in comfort and M mode, whatever it is. So that does make the car sound a little louder. But the next thing we have is a Dalier H mid pipe. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Maybe I'll throw up some clips from that previous video but it's in there somewhere. Basically, that H-pipe gets rid of one of the resonators on this car. This car has two, I believe, and obviously has a massive muffler, so it doesn't make the car sound super loud, but it does make it sound a little better. Now, is this the exhaust setup that I'm gonna keep on this car forever? Probably not. Like I mentioned in that other video, I make YouTube videos, I need a more dramatic and louder exhaust setup on this car. So that will definitely come in the future. Now just in general guys, future plans for this car, I have a lot. So the next thing I wanna focus on is the wheel fitment and the wheel gap because this car is currently an absolute monster truck. The front is horrible, the rear actually isn't too bad. So I'm debating maybe just going lowering springs and just on the front because I feel like the front is the only place that really needs it, but that's TBD. Just generally speaking, guys, I want to resolve the, the fitment issues, the, the wheel gap and all that. So whether that's spacers, maybe getting a different set of wheels, definitely something I want to look into, especially since we're currently in March and it's going to get nicer. So we can really start looking into that stuff. And I want to eventually wrap the car. That's why I got black. So it's easier to wrap. I've been waiting for the weather to get nicer and I've been debating which color to wrap it in but that's something I'm definitely gonna do. When exactly, I don't know because I kinda wanna try to do it myself and I've never done it before. So not sure how that's gonna go. Now, are those the only mods? Absolutely not. I have a lot more mods in mind for this car. I actually have one sitting at home right now that probably gonna install maybe tomorrow, but I don't wanna give too much away, so you guys just have to stay tuned and watch the channel to find out what's coming for this car. Also, if you guys have been watching my channel, you'll know that I'm looking for another car to replace the F30. So that would be cool. We can have two cars that we can mod again. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop it a like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah, with that said, this video is pretty much done. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.